hello everyone welcome to the mockery virtual hope you are doing good today i'm going to continue with your same module that is business skills for e-commerce and the chapter number 11 that is a new chapter that is internet and customer asset management that is how internet is related with the customer asset management or what is the relationship between the internet and the cu customer asset management uh, till now we have studied the chapter number 10 that is how internet is related and how internet is related with the supply chain management uh, that is how uh, both the entities both the terms that is internet and internet is used with supply chain management to provide the customer satisfaction or to provide the customer with a good satisfaction and efficiency uh, now let's move to the next chapter that is chapter number 11 that is internet and customer asset management now let's start these are the various topics these are this is the structure of the chapter these are various topics first of all there is objective then introduction to cam that is customer asset management then basics of customer asset management online sales force online customer service and support that is a how or what is the main mode of uh, online customer service that is a how the services are provided to the customer online and their support uh, technology and marketing strategy then summary then keyword then self-assessment questions and suggested reading so this is very small chapter that is a uh, basics or that is a uh, customer asset management now let's see what is the main objective that is the main objective or main target of this chapter that is uh, what is the content of this chapter so the motive of this chapter is to present an introduction to internet and customer asset management that is what is the uh, meaning of internet and what is customer asset management that is CAM that is uh, how internet is related to the customer asset management that is a CAM uh, then uh, within that framework that is how to use the uh, internet to make the customer asset management what are the basic concepts how to implement the customer asset management what are the implementation challenges that is what are the issues that is uh, that is faced while making the customer asset management or uses the uh, internet for customer asset management uh, then uh, salesforce automation issues its benefits for business organization customer support service marketing strategies using technology in the customer asset management are discussed so this is the main objective that is how uh, the internet is related with the customer asset management then uh, after going through this lesson you will be able to understand that is after carrying out this uh, chapter or after taking out this chapter you will be able to understand the few concepts few uh, topics that is uh, able to understand uh, like describe the concept of customer asset management that is uh, what is the customer asset management what is the main concept behind the customer asset management or what is customer asset management and explain the reasons for understanding the concept of or what are the advantages of customer asset management why why everyone needs the internet for customer asset management discuss the role of online sales force in enhancing the sales productivity that is if i'm doing the sales online that then what is the main advantage for doing the online sales then discuss the management issues that is related to the customer asset management that is what are the management issues that is related to the uh, customer asset management and describe marketing strategies that is related to the technology that is what type of market marketing strategies that is available that is related to the technology then uh, let's start with the introduction to customer asset management that that is CAM that is customer asset management this says organizations in usual supply chain management system mainly focus on the basic operations and do not take care of customer demand that is uh, whenever we use the supply chain management that is a main focus on the operations what type of operation it can done what type of target it can done but it cannot take care of the customer demand which is an important element for pull supply chain in supply chain there is only a chain that is created like wholesaler retailer but that is not that customer demand is fulfilled or not but customer demand is one of the important element that is uh, the basic demand because customer is the king for ourselves and uh, it cannot lead to the customer satisfaction customer satisfaction can be achieved through effectively
integrating the information that is related to marketing so whenever uh, we provide or whenever we say that customer is fully satisfied that can be achieved only by integrating the information that is uh, combining the information that is related to the marketing sales customer service activities with the functions like manufacturing and distribution and by replacing the traditional system with the new technology based system so this is nothing but this is says that customer satisfaction is provided with the latest technology latest demand latest ma manufacturing technologies or techniques customer satisfaction is important as marketing itself however with the use of technology uh, can be a strategic issue for any organization to manage its customer by adding values to every customer interaction that is uh, how or what is the usage of technology or uh, with the use of technology the strategic issues can be created or is there in an organization to manage the customers this customer interaction strategy finally takes the form of customer asset management so whenever we say that the customer is satisfied with their interaction with the wholesaler with the retailer that is provided by the concept that is known as customer asset management kalakota and vincent defines customer asset management is as the integration of frontline activities in a supply chain that is uh, it is an integration of frontline activities it is an integration of the activities in a supply chain that includes that means integrate all the information all the activities in a supply chain that includes uh, what type of integration that includes the sales market intelligence gathering and customer service to act in a coordinated manner rather than pulling in different directions so um, whenever there is a integration whenever we combine various activities that may be related to or uh, that uh, combine various activities in a supply chain that include sales marketing customer service so that it can act in a coordinated manner proper manner that uh, then pulling in different directions so combining various activities in a coordinated manner in efficient manner rather than in a different directions is known as the customer asset management so whenever we say customer asset management that means managing the customer asset that is proper coordination proper planning and co combine various activities that include sales marketing uh, customer service in a proper and efficient coordinated manner it is based on the premise that customer are the more valuable asset of any business that's why it is said customer asset management how to manage the asset that is a customer and each interaction with the customer should be viewed critically and must add the value so in customer asset management the main focus is on the customer but in supply chain the main focus is on uh, supply the product sell out the product not to on the customer but in this the main asset is customer so main focus is provided on the customer customer asset management helps organization to be with the customers throughout their life cycle from initial marketing to customer service that is the uh, it helps the organization that is customer asset management helps the organization that is how to deal with the customer direct from the marketing phase that is from the starting phase to the customer service till the ending phase customer service means uh, proper services are provided to the customer it is in an economically prudent manner to drive sustainable long term and profitable customer relationship so uh, this whenever we use the customer asset management that provides a good relationship with the customer so that customers are satisfied so that our organization will grow because when the customer is satisfied he he or she may demand for the another product so there will be a profit for the organization it is a system of marketing and selling that is driven out of a pro proactive planful and personal approach to manage mutually beneficial individual customer relationship so in crux if i say what is customer asset management that is managing the customer for proper interaction for many from the starting point that is marketing till the ending point that is a customer service the internet for customer asset management provides a range of platform independent services so whenever we use the internet for customer asset management that also provides a range of platform independent services that is they are not dependent on the platform but they are independent of the platform 
independent means um, if I am using the Windows 7 the customer asset management tool customer as asset management internet is working in the Windows 7 in the Linux Unix also to caring needs of the customer that is to satisfy the needs of the customer company managers and other within a secure online web based environment so whenever we use the internet so there is a secure online web based environment that is within the organization the internet serves as a potential user uh, based on millions of individuals local authorities and wide range of associated interest an organization can create within its uh, virtual boundaries manageable secure version of www which can be used to provide its user with access to specified range of applications and services so an organization can create various boundaries various versions of www to provide the user with the ex easy accessibility to wide range of applications and services certain agreed uh, elements of internet can be made available as appropriate to specific outside interest in the form of external accessibility so in crux uh, customer asset management is used with the internet for use in the web based environment for usage of the web based environment next is basics of customer asset management that is what is the main base or what is the basics of CAM that is a customer asset management that is uh, basics means uh, the few concepts that is a very basic of the customer asset management this says facing the day by day technological changes that is uh, with the technological changes in a day by day because everything is updated right now from windows 7 to window uh, from windows xp to windows 7 windows 7 to windows 8 windows 10 so facing the day by day technological changes many companies seeking to increase revenue market share and competitive advantage are employing the new strategy that is known as customer asset management that is with the new technology uh, there is updation or with the updated technology many companies prefer for the CAM that is customer asset management because that helps to satisfy the customer and also creates a good relationship with the customer the CAM highlights the importance of customer and define them as a more variable or the most valuable asset of any business so nothing customer asset management is nothing but only analyzing the companies that customer is one of the basic assets for any organization because any profit any gain that comes from the customer only in this competitive environment the trends of attractive and keeping customer are changing and customer status information system are built or created as islands of information with an integrated software application where technology is used in a strategic manner for customers the primary objective of business organization is to use required technology to add values to customer interaction, customer service and produce revenue growth. So what is the main objective? What is the prime objective? To use the technology for the customer interaction, customer service and produce the revenue growth. As I said, everyone wants the profit so there is a need for the revenue. Companies are emphasizing and embarrassing customer asset management as revenue growth strategy. As I told you in the previous uh, few, uh, from the previous few minutes that it is only used for the revenue generation, profit generation, so this line said that uh, customers are emphasizing on CAM that is customer asset management only for the revenue growth or it is used as a set strategy for the revenue growth for maximizing the value of customer relationship and satisfaction that is how to maximize the value of customer satisfaction and their relationship following are the four components of customer asset management that is what is the main components of customer asset management or what all terms are included in customer asset management the first one says online sales for automation that is first step or the first component of customer asset management in is online sales for force automation this is used to integrate sales activity into a corporate information structure and to improve 
overall organization efficiency and coordinate with other business activities so this online sales automation in CEM is used to integrate the sales activity integrate means combine the sales activity into a corporate information structure and to improve overall organization efficiency so whenever there is a uh, integration of the sales activity into a corporate information structure so that will improve the overall organization efficiency and then coordinate with other business activity the next uh, component is uh, market intelligence that is related to the trend analysis that is what is the current trend channel management how to manage the path how to manage the channel relationship management that is how to maintain the relationship with the customer supply chain management and competitor intelligence so this includes or these all terms are included in the market intelligence that is the next component of customer asset management then next is one of the important component uh, important category of component that is the online customer service and support this says the online customer support services are increasingly become an era for competitive advantage because uh, if being a customer if i am demanding something i am demanding for my pen drive so i need a proper satisfaction proper service and now this service is provided online so this is one of the important component of uh, customer asset management that there should be a proper customer service and support within the organization to maintain the relationship so that every relationship should be maintained easily and effect effectively uh, so the next component is uh, that is the online customer service and support so this is one of the important component that there should be a online customer service because every customer uh, wants or every customer wants a support after delivery so customer is the most concerned about the interruption in the service that they expect from the product and their worries can be specified in the following areas that is how a customer is satisfied with their support in terms of reliability service dependability maintenance in order to provide the most efficient effective online support a supplier must identify the services that customer value most and their relative importance uh, next is marketing management that is the next category that is the next part that is marketing management that is the next component of customer asset management that includes the marketing planning so uh, this marketing management means how to manage the marketing so first of all plan for the marketing providing the reports on sales activity after marketing sales forecasting deviation between forecast versus actual uh, designing and managing sales channel sales territory and analyzing the marketing program so this all comes under the marketing management that is uh, first of all plan for the marketing provides the reports what is the sales forecasting deviation for forecast uh, designing and managing the sales channel sales territory and analyzing the marketing programs customer asset management is to satisfy real customer needs so what is the main uh, motto of customer asset management to satisfy the needs of the customer value for the customer is built on an in-depth understanding of customer needs which leads to the personalized delivery of value and building of customer loyalty customer asset management duties includes acting as a single point of contact developing the customer relationship understanding the customer decision making identify the business opportunity providing the competitive intelligence negotiating the sales so this includes all the activities that may include that may starting from the marketing point of view and ends with the uh, customer service and support so it starts with the marketing point of view and ends with the customer service and support so all these activities are included in between the marketing and the customer online or customers online customer service and support now next question arises why customer asset management why there is a need for customer asset management what is the main benefit of customer asset management what are the advantages of customer asset management so this says the benefits of customer asset management are or customer asset management system are what are the benefits to create more loyal customers that is uh, if customer is provided with the online support online services so customer becomes loyal for the organization so to create the more loyal customer then retention of profitable customer this is the same point 
first of all create the loyal customer so that there is no fraud uh, in, uh, uh, from the side of the customer and retention of the profitable customer the retention means uh, placing that profitable customer so that customer will remain in the organization for most of the time so that the profits will again came and came from the customer asset management then highly efficient and more focused communication program for customers that is highly efficient means that is a more efficient and the more focused customer pro communication program for the customer that provides the customer with the satisfaction then customer focused a development of product and service these are the major benefits that is only the main aim is to satisfy the customer that is because a customer is one of the greatest or one of the big asset for the organization however with the introduction of customer asset management system in an organization many of the manager may face a little bit anxiety and frustration this is one of the limitation that is many of the managers or most of the managers may face a little bit anxiety uh, and frustration so there is a more of anxiety and the frustration this system can be made effective by understanding the following conditions strategically that only a few organizations need now first point says the future sales can be predicted through current customers so what are the various conditions or what are the uh, various conditions in which the uh, this uh, customer asset management fulfill the conditions then this says future sales can be predicted through current customer so if the customer is satisfying uh, with the basic concepts with the current scenario of the customer asset management so the future sales can also be predicted that there will be a good future sale in the future there will be a good sales there is a high sales so that the revenue will be generated so that the profit will be generated so future sales can be predicted through current customers then second point says the sales potential can be estimated for future by segmenting the customer based on sales history and can be more effective than segmenting on the basis of uh, demographic factors so the sales potential means the sales benefit can be estimated for the future so that uh, customer will uh, manufacture the or the organization will manufacture the products that will satisfy the needs of the customer so the sales uh, potential can be estimated based on the current scenario so that organization can build manufacture more and more product for the uh, profit efficiency or for their profitability and then third point says customers are subject to depreciate like other assets customer may be dissatisfied with the service find a better price elsewhere or feel adverse of existing services this is known as attrition and is more often predictable with the knowledge of transaction history that is customer are also subject to depreciate that is uh, their value will go on decreasing from time to time time to time that is there they can be satisfied dissatisfied with the service uh, find a better price elsewhere so uh, there are many conditions these are many conditions in which the customer asset management will be useful or prediction for the future is also useful customers can be bought and sold that is customer can be bought means customer can be used or can customer can be attracted and sold out for example the merger and acquisition decision of organization can represent the combination of customer bases where the sales potential is to realize with the small and efficient infrastructure that is there is a small infrastructure but the customers are high so there will be high profit on the part of the organization now what are the implementation challenges in the customer asset management so whenever the company needs to establish or it needs to develop or needs to implement the customer asset management so what are the challenges that is faced by the uh, different organizations this is in implementing the customer asset management system companies are facing the following major challenges so uh, these are the following ch challenges that must be taken care of by the organization uh, in order to implement the customer asset management system to capture the customer information in dynamic environment is very difficult and expensive to gather so it is very expensive so it takes more cost as well as the uh, it, uh, it is very difficult to gather the information in a dynamic environment dynamic means what is the customer's role what is the customer need at the current scenario what is the platform is this a platform independent or dependent 
so to capture every information in a dynamic form is very difficult and expensive many difficulties like coordination across various customer facing function because uh, if one customer needs something else another customer needs something else if there are total five customers how how can i satisfy uh, all the five customers if their demands are different that is also one of the difficulty uh, one of the main uh, challenge that is taken care in implementing the customer asset management then third point is the customer needs and expectations are changing all the time that is uh, customers needs and expectations because if my need is that i want to bring up and drive i want to take the pen drive that is one my need but certainly i need it no 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 not only 8 gb pen drive but i need 16 gb pen drive that is my next expectations so the customer needs and expectations are changing all the time next point says collecting information relevant to customers for making customers it is my asset management is as asset base may be difficult and costly that is collecting the information that is relevant to customer for making the customer asset management is becoming the asset base that may be difficult and costly uh, so collecting information is one of the major problem that can be or this problem can be overcome by using the web so this problem means uh, collecting information problem can be overcome by using the intranet and other online services so we may either use intranet we may either use internet because there are so many hardware and uh, software support market oriented tools software that has to make the or that has to gather or store the databases or that has to gather the customer information in a proper database for future or for mutual benefit and facilitates the customer online so whenever there is a online services that is used so it is better to use the online services that is internet in case of collecting the information in customer asset management Uh, this customer asset management also requires strong coordination across various customer facing functions in the organization because if there is no uh, coordination among various departments so how is this case possible so that require the strong coordination among various functions among various um, departments this is the next one that is if their needs are changing all the time it will lead to a situation whereby customers uh, keep on setting over high standards and therefore to achieve perfection is impossible the next point says knowing the need of customer makes it easier to anticipate the ideal set of products and service so whenever uh, uh, knowing the needs of the customer so whenever we know the need of the customer that makes it easier to anticipate the ideal set of products and service now customer need can be determined that is how what are the various ways what are the various uh, scenarios what are the various tools by which the customer needs can be achieved that can be achieved through market research customer interaction or customer interview reading customer concern involving customer in design of services and services or service delivery so either we can do the market research to uh, determine the customer need customer interviews reading the customer uh, concern and involving the customer in the design of services and service delivery market research could be a useful technique for discovering why new customers switch their supplier and why defeated customer left because uh, whenever i research the market i know who is a new customer <coughs> what is the lacking point behind the customer's satisfaction why why uh, customer are going to next or supplier why customers are defeated or customers are left with each other customer satisfaction uh, should begin by asking about the factor that affect the customer satisfaction how important this factor for the whole and level of customer satisfaction after the real reasons are determined the service recovery process can begin then uh, next topic is relationship between the customer asset management and supply asset management or what is the relationship between the CAM that is the customer asset management and the supply chain management that is SCM this says customer asset management plays a vital role in the content of supply chain management
that is customer asset management uh, also plays a important role in the supply chain management that is uh, CAM is a important part in the SCM because without customer satisfaction there is no role for, for the uh, SCM the supply chain productivity can be improved through the investment in marketing sales and customer service this says the supply chain productivity that is the output of sup uh, supply chain can be increased can be improved through the investments in marketing sales and customer service the critical information collected from the consumers questions and suggestions helps organizations to produce consistent and quality products customer contact can also serve as a source of new product idea so this is also one of the uh, important uh, tool that is customer asset management is one of the important tool that helps in the supply chain management though customer interaction can be proved where the computerization of marketing and sales function has not received so much attention only a few companies have realized the importance of technology that is usage of the internet for the uh, customer asset management and the supply chain management now what are the benefits of supply chain integration that is whenever the um, customer asset management is integrated with the supply chain so what are the main benefits of supply chain integration first of uh, the first benefits that develop the intelligent information infrastructure that provides suppliers trading partners and customers with consistent and relevant information that is uh, develop the intelligent and information infrastructure that is a good in, uh, in information infrastructure that provides customer trading partner and uh, customers uh, trading partner suppliers with consistent and relevant information uh, creates a flexible standard based infrastructure that can more rapidly adapt to meet business requirements that is creating a flexible standard based infrastructure creates a basic infrastructure that can be more readily readily adapt to meet the business expectations because whenever there is a mixture whenever there is a uh, inclusion of the supply customer asset management so it also provides a flexible standard base because uh, there is there are some standard there are rules regulation flexible that can be readily adapt to meet the business requirement then automate the business processes and streamline workflow to improve the efficiency and productivity that is uh, whenever there is a customer asset management inclusion so it is also used for automation of the business processes and streamline workflows then reduce the employee training time by improving the application usability improve the customer service by providing 24 by 7 web self service whenever there is a online su customer support so that online customer support is available 24 by 7 365 days in a uh, year it reduces the cost by eliminating the expensive and insufficient paper bound processes now the next topic is online sales force now let's see what is online sales force hello 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 now the next topic is online sales force that is what is the online sales force so this says to reduce order fulfillment cost and shorten the delivery cycle so uh, whenever there is a reduction in the order fulfillment that is uh, fulfilling the order and shorten the delivery uh, cycle shorten the delivery cycle means uh, there is a direct communication there is a direct delivery among the customer and the manufacturer in such a competitive environment where business organizations have to differentiate product service increase configuration and new specification of the product improve customer service to attract the customer and reduce the operating cost online sales function plays a critical role for the success of any business organization so to provide the customer satisfaction uh, customer fulfillment delivery eliminate the delivery uh, shorten the delivery cycles increase the configuration new specification all that can come under or that can can be possible by using the online sales function that plays an important role for the success of any organization by supporting the salesperson in the field through automation means using a computer base for collecting data on consumers maintaining records uh, such as customer visit phone calls data uh, address identities so by supporting the salesperson by making the 
everything online the online sales force is used for collecting the data information like their demographic information name addresses uh, their customer visits phone calls and the corresponding that is a address a catalog of marketing literature and other information for communication to sales representative or customers can also be maintained in the form of database which may be used to interpret the field data for predicting the sales volume that may occur automation helps in eliminating the boundary limits so uh, uh, if anything is doing online so that eliminates the boundary limits and bring the customers cl closer to business organization that is also one of the advantage so whenever uh, anything is doing online so that eliminates the boundary limits and bring the customer that is closer to the business organizations Salesforce management system are information system that is used in marketing and management that automates the sales function. So whenever there is a sales, there is a marketing, so that marketing or sales can be done online. That is known as Salesforce management system. That is an information system that is used in marketing and management that automates the sales functions. They are frequently combined with the marketing information system in which case they are often known as customer relationship management system so whenever the sales force is combined with the marketing information system that is known as the customer relationship management system and uh, uh, to automate the sales force to automate the sales process uh, that satisfies the three main functions what are the three main functions that is satisfied by the sales force automation so whenever there is an online uh, sales force what are the three benefits what are the three functions the first function is to support the sales force in the field to support means to support the sales to for the high productivity that is the uh, first point to provide right information to customers at right time this is also one of the important point that is uh, with the use of online sales that is a sales for automation uh, the right information is supplied to the customer at the right time. To integrate the sales activity with effective information system to improve corporate efficiency and also coordinate with other business activity. That is also that whenever uh, we, uh, we integrate the sales activity with the effective information system that also improves the overall corporate efficiency and also coordinate with other business activity. Now, what are the benefits of sales automation to sales people? That is, what are the benefits of sales automation to sales people? That is, uh, uh, what are the benefits that is provided by the sales automation to the sales people? So, whenever there is a sales automation, what are the benefits that is provided by the salesperson who prior doing the uh, doing everything manually now? everything is doing online so what are the main benefits of the sales automation that is mainly concerned to the sales person this says this can our online sales can improve the productivity of sales personnel also in the following manner because he or she do not have to do the all the works manually reading the books make the phone call yeah this is um, this is the uh, this one calling from this one this is this one calling from this one are you interested some people uh, pick up the phone listen yeah this is a sales phone only stop the phone or only stop the phone so that is uh, <laughs> that um, respect or that discourage your respect so that is the main point but in case of online people simply chat with the online if they are interested then it's okay otherwise not so what are the main benefits that is provided to the salesperson first point says Rather than write out sales report, activity report, call sheet, sales people can fill in the prepared e-forms. That is, instead of writing anything on the manual way, uh, instead of writing on the papers, instead of writing the reports on the paper, uh, now sales persons, now sales uh, people uh, can fill the prepared e-forms. The forms are available online, they can simply fill the forms. This saves the time. So one of the important point is, uh, advantage benefit is time saving now the next is rather than printing out the report that is uh, rather than printing out the reports that make the cost and talking them to the sales manager sales people can use the sales intranet to transmit the information that is they simply use the company 
intranet to transmit the information instead of going to the manager yeah sir this is the report they simply use the outlook that is a mozilla outlook or oh sorry microsoft outlook that is a offline system that simply pass the report to the manager manager reads the mail uh, then he or she must know yeah this is the report that saves the time that saves the cost also paper cost printing cost refilling cost then rather than waiting for paper based product inventory data sales proposal data that is the sales profile data sales support system that they have access to information when they need it this could be useful in the field when answering prospect question and objections then the additional co tools could help to improve the sales uh, staff morale if they reduce the amount of record keeping or increase the rate of closing and uh, uh, this sales can be used as an efficient and training device so anyone can take the training with the use of salesforce system because uh, everything is recorded online so if a new person or if new employee comes then he or she may take the training only from the online because there is no manual system everything is recorded system the next advantage is that next benefit that that is there is a better communication and cooperation between the sales personnel that facilitated the successful team selling then next point the software could automatically generate more and better qualified sales lead that is there is no requirement that there is a supervisor that uh, that uh, counts who is the sales lead that is who makes the more sales no only the software that makes all these things that who is the winner of the sales process this technology increases the sales person ratio of selling time to the non selling non selling time includes activities like report writing travel time internal meeting training seminar so this uh, the main main importance of uh, this uh, online sales force is that it saves the time that is a time saving now this online sales that is a sales automation what are the benefits it provide to the sales manager till now we have studied what are the benefits it provide to the sales personnel that is a sales person now what are the benefits it provide to the sales manager being a manager what are the benefits the first one is they, that it uh, rather than gathering all the call sheets that is rather than gathering yeah abc is doing what cde is doing what so rather than gathering information from all the info from all the employees it can tabulate the sheet it can make the sheet it can uh, use the tabulated sheet it have a result automatically that is presented in the form of graphs tables with the use of software like excel put the data that is in uh, e form and make the charts table graph so that uh, the manager know who is the main beneficial or who is the concerned person who make the more sales so that saves the time for the manager also then activity report information request also uh, that is frequently sent more directly with the advice are most sent with the help of the automated sale that also saves the time next point the sales manager can configure the system so or so as to automatically analyze the information using sophisticated statistical technique and presents the result in a user friendly way this gives the sales manager information that is more useful in providing the current and useful sales support material uh, marketing research so this uh, the sales manager get the following information whenever there is a online sales promotion that is how to coordinate coordinate with other parts of the firm how to provide the or how to get the market research data who is the new competitor what is the demographic information what is the product problems if there is any how to coordinate with other parts of the firm how to identify who is a profitable customer and who is the ma main winner of the uh, online sales that is who is the more profitable customer who is the problematic customer and uh, it also track out the productivity of sales force by combining a number of performance measures like revenue per sales revenue per territory so these are the benefits that is provided by the online sales to the uh, sales manager now benefits of sales automation to the marketing manager now let's see what are the benefits that is provided to the marketing manager first benefit is that uh, understand the economic structure of an industry 
so a marketing manager also able to uh, with the use of online sales able to understand the economic structure of the industry that what is the economic structure uh, where the industry is lying it is keeping lying below up identify the segments within the market identify the target market best customer who is the best customer for marketing from marketing point of view doing the market research to develop the profit develop the new or understand the competitors and their products develop the new products understand the company strength and weaknesses so these are the few points that is uh, that helps uh, that is helpful for to the marketing manager whenever there is a demand for the uh, uh, online automation or whenever there is a demand for the online sales that is a sales automation one of the best advantage is that creates and sustainable competitive advantage now what are the strategic advantages of sales automation so whenever i say um, uh, sales automation what are the strategic that is what is the uh, in advantage that is provided by the various strategies that is used in sales automation this is the productivity will increase that is a main advantage whenever there is a sales automation that saves the time that saves the energy so that helps in the high productivity that is the main point that is a productivity will increase or high productivity then field sales staff will send their information more uh, frequently that is the same point that is a time saving so uh, various sales manager various the sales person can send their report send their information more frequently more in a uh, fastest way the next points this system could increase customer satisfaction the customer is satisfying by getting the information uh, by getting the information online that is a, it also provide the customer satisfaction but as uh, there are some advantages of sales automation so there are also disadvantages of sales automation now let's see what are the disadvantages first of all it is very costly why because we require each and every tool for using the online sales like bandwidth social sites like facebook uh, system that is a computer high software high bandwidth sales lead so that makes up or that increases the cost to the organization so that is a main advantage disadvantage that is a costly next point process that require continuous maintenance information updating and system upgrading that is whenever there is a sales automation online sales so every at every moment at every hour it need to be updated that is also the main uh, main main disadvantage because uh, the one of the main concern person has to be kept with the online sales to update each and every new information that is relevant to the sales then uh, next disadvantage is that it is difficult to integrate with other management information system next topic is what are the elements of online sales force automation that is what are the main elements or what are the components of online sales force automation the first is online telemarketing that is the first part that manage the demand creation processing response that is the main or that is a one of the or that is one of the component of online sales that is the online telemarketing so there is online telemarketing in uh, case of online sales so that the, there is a, a profit demand or managing the demand creation processing the response that is also take care by the online telemarketing then salesforce planning and uh, productivity tools that is the salesforce planning so there will be a um, salesforce planning so that plan out what to be sale out and what are the productivity tools like checking the inventory entering the orders then uh, next is sales and marketing management that is the next point that is the next part that is the next component of the uh, online sales that is the sales and marketing management so there, th there will be a strategy for the sales management as well as the marketing management that provides or that includes providing the automated reports about sales forecast sales activity etc for analyzing the marketing and sales program next is online mailing management that is uh, there that, that this is one of the important component also that is the online mailing so that is a to supply the mail to send the mail from one person to another person so there will be online mailing management then sales process management that is a to manage the sales process there will be a sales process management that is also a part of the or element of the 
online sales automation then salesforce compensation management with the online sales automation work the work of a single sales person or entire marketing sales operation of the company can be performed now the next topic is internet and sales automation that is how internet is used with the sales automation this says now the internet based sales automation is that what which exists within an organization and provides a single point of access to all essential information regarding sales and marketing to the business organization so whenever i say i uh, say the relationship between the internet and the sales of automation that is the automated sales but within the organization because the term added as a intranet so the internet based sales automation is the one that exists within the organization and also provide a single point of access to all the essential information regarding sales marketing so that is the privately uh, online sales within the organization the information about the competitors such as product pricing and sales strength can be available to the business organization on the internet based system the interactive web moni monitoring software helps sales representative through smart solution in answering the request for product literature reducing the time spent compiling the sales reports etc so whenever there is a usage of the internet so that saves the time that compile the sales report effectively places the order and there are this is one of the uh, advantages that is used by the of online sales therefore the direct sales and direct marketing become more efficient by automatically by automating the repetitive tasks so if there is the same task so the same marketing same sales the, that becomes uh, effective whenever there is a online sales or online sales that is a sales automation so internet or internet also provides some benefits to the organization in case of sales automation now let's see what are the benefits but before this let's take a break then moves to this topic that is what are the benefits that is provided by the internet uh, that is used the sales automation so first of all let's take a break uh, so come back from the break now let's start the session again so now let's see what are the benefits that is provided to the business organization whenever there is a usage of the internet so internet based sales automation provides the benefit or what type of benefit to the business organization first of all it builds it be the online sales builds a strong sales database by stro storing all essential information on consumer market prospects products product line marketing program distribution system and the marketing channels so this whenever we use the internet whenever we use the online sales that is using the internet within the organization that provides a strong sales database by storing relevant information on the consumer market prospects products line delivery marketing distribution system and the marketing channels uh, uh, next point says scheduling the sales operations and compilation of information is easier so whenever there is a usage of internet so scheduling the sales operations or scheduling and compilation of information is also very easier then next is reduces the sales cycle that is reduces the sales cycle means reduction in the sales cycle that is also carried out by the internet then complete automation provides a single point access to all from management to sales person that is a complete automation means the complete automation is carried out uh, with a single sales point access that is there is single point access that is used by the managers to the sales person that is a single online authoring tool online uh, software that is available that can be accessed by the manager that can be accessed by the sales person or any of the customer who is uh, who needs to know what type of sales target what type of sales activities are carried out it also helps to access the industry data like uh, growth rate of industry entries and exit of firms and market potential of industry provides data on competitors like their products pricing sales promotion sales strength and the market share then uh, intranet and mobile sales force that is uh, uh, selling out the product or sales activities that is carried out with the help of mobile how internet is used or how internet is useful in the mobile sales 
This says the recent trend in sales automation is towards finding solution to serve the need of mobile sales force. That is, there is a now a need for the mobile sales force. That is a mobile uh, automated sales force. The salesperson in the persons in the field are expected to be in touch with the customers. That is, uh, the salesperson is touched with the uh, is in touch with the customers with the help of mobile phone that provides the better understanding and needs uh, and wants of the customer. But at the same time, salesperson is also required to be integrated with back office system to gain the access to data on pricing, promotions, transportation schedules, etc. The person kept informed through internet on both the sides with an effective sales representative. Companies um, are providing their sales promotions, sales force laptop, linking them to the internet to obtain the maximum sales productivity. The next is integrating the web with the contact management. That is how to integrate the web with the contact management. So to make the contact or to be in contact with the customers uh, every time that is round the clock, the organization are floating their website. That is organizations are using their or uh, float their websites, increase their websites, publish their websites on the net. The main objective is to uh, gain the better productivity or high productivity or the high sales productivity by satisfying the customer by providing the relevant information uh, that is transferred to the sales database. Now, next is internet and the target marketing. That is how internet is useful in the marketing also. So, internet helps in providing the customer contact and the relevant information which can aid to direct marketing. So, whenever there is an internet usage that helps in providing the customer context and the relevant information uh, that is used in the direct marketing. When a customer fill up his interest level and information on external web page, immediately a telesales person is automatically assigned to him or her. That is, if there is an inquiry form, if there is any form that is available on the internet, as soon as the customer fill out the inquiry form, then the sales uh, representative gets available online at every time with the concerned customer, concerned sales, uh, concerned customer, uh, by including the name, by including the address, the sales representative, uh, representative can approach the customer by using the relevant information that is filled by the consumer. Internet enable access to the central database. That is, internet is also able to access the central database, therefore, or thereby providing salespeople and direct marketeer with the information to improve the quality of the contact, whether it may be a mail, telephone, or in person. Next is publishing uh, dynamic sales information. That is how to publish the dynamic sales information. That is with the updates in uh, price uh, list. That is whenever there is an updation, whenever there is a changing in the pricing level, price list, competitive information, and new promotions the sales environment changes constantly. So there is a change in the sales environment. It is important to keep informed everyone. So whenever there is a change in the, uh, for example, uh, the change in the price of the product. So customers have to be updated with this new information. So what is the, or which is the best suitable medium for doing this? So internet or any web-based application is one of the suitable method to doing this or to make the updated information or to uh, reach the updated information to the or to provide the updated information to the concerned persons or the individuals or the customers. Next is, uh, next topic is management issues. That is what are the management issues that is there in the sales force automation. This says the objective of using internet for sales for uh, functions is to reduce the marketing interior. So what is the main objective of using the internet in the sales to reduce the marketing? Why? Because uh, whenever there is an internet, so uh, whenever any person can open the website, the popper will blink. So that will re reduce the marketing approaches, that will reduce the marketing cost, that will reduce the marketing time. Because automatically the popper blinks whenever any customer can open the website. Marketing people accused with this system are able to analyze customer behavior, uh, device or derive new account management policy, marketing mix strategies. 
so there are various advantages that is uh, provided by the internet while used with the various or while used with the marketing tool or while used as a marketing tool at the same time there is a high cost high impacting selling methods that is also provided by the internet while used with the marketing strategy so that is the term now the next topic is online customer service and support till now we have studied about the internet um, customer sales service sales uh, force automation that is online sales now the next is online customer service and support like in the same way there is online sales in the same way there is online customer service and support that is the customer services are available online or customer support as available online that is if a customer has any query any objection any 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 support any 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 service any support that is provided by the or that is provided on the internet or internet that is known as the online customer service and support so this is customer management is the most valuable asset for any business organization that is customer management means how to satisfy the customer is one of the better or one of the main asset for any business organization and businesses and invested heavily in the customer service system that is most of the customers most of the businesses has invested more in the customer service system to gain the competitive advantage automation in organizations have completely changed the way the practices are performed to about customer service and support so uh, now the next term is online customer service and support that is how the online or how the uh, customer services and supports are provided online now the first is how the internet how web is used with the customer service then let's see how the internet is used with customer support so first of all the web and the customer service that is how the web is used with the customer service this is the business organizations have their own websites that is business organization means the business entities business organizations have their own websites and email system to respond to customers quickly interactively and eventually in real time that is uh, the business uh, every or most of the organizations have their own websites and the emailing systems to chat with the customer to mail with the customer to provide the relevant information to the customer in a quicker way effective way interactive way and eventually in the real time real time means in a shorter period of time customer gets service through website when they want it at their own level of interest that is customer get the service or customer get the service through the websites they get the information through the websites when they want it at their own level of interest not only the up to date information about the product and services is provided to customer over the web when needed but all to inform new product and services receiving customer ideas and setting up a dialog box so not only that this is used for developing the information or for uh, providing the information to the customer but also provides the customer to the or also provides the information to the customer whenever that needs whenever there is a information about or whenever uh, uh, there is a need to inform about the new product and services that is provided by the customer uh, whenever there is a new idea whenever there is a new set of dialogue whenever there is a new generation whenever there is a new relationship so web defines the relationship between the customer and the business organizations now next is information system challenges so what are the various challenges that is provided by the automated systems so this says in business organizations committed to building world class service operations it is too complicated and time consuming to develop a information system fully functional so it is very difficult to make the uh, system automated why because uh, that requires uh, so many hardware and software tools bandwidth uh, pcs laptop cpu motherboard so that requires uh, so many challenges to make the system operational to make the system effective in an efficient manner however these systems need to be cost effective easy to deploy and easy to maintain and modify 
Now, the role of technology in customer service. So whenever I say that the customer service or the customer satisfaction, uh, so what is the role of the technology? What is the main advantages of the technology? This is web forms, email, and usual telephone calls are generally the means of service request and could be internal from an employee or external. So that may be with an employee, that may be external, that is from the customer about the product, whether internal or external is the service request, the sur support staff has to satisfy the customer. To provide the superior service, business organization has to develop strong information system for assuring the quality. So there must be a proper technology for providing the customer service and support. Now, next is what are the business requirements? That is, what are the business requirements? Uh, what is the requirement of the business? So this says, when the customer is the king and companies are talking of delighting uh, the customers, one has to m remain responsive and competitive. That is, when, when any organization says that the customer is the king for that organization. So, in order to deliver the customer, in order to uh, make the customer happy, one has to maintain the responsiveness, one has to give the response uh, in a effective or real time and there is a competitive in a real time. Good customer service strategies and technology resource for delivering services and managing large volume of transactions efficiently requires a well-designed customer service system that can yield customer loyalty. So whenever there is a good su customer service that also provides a good uh, well-designated or well-designed customer service system. So there is an online customer service system that gives the better customer loyalty. Cust companies have to understand the importance of customer interaction and need to take opportunity to serve the customer in a better way by taking the feedback at every moment, every month, every week. It depends on the organization to organization. Now what are the basic requirements for such a system? So what are the requirements of the businesses in such a system, in such a online systems? Hunger for customer feedback yeah this is the most important point what is the main requirement uh, while uh, or requirement from the business side while doing the transactions online that is uh, first of all the feedback is very must that is uh, the businesses are hunger for the customer feedback that is the feedback is very must from the customer point of view or from the customer side then cross selling and upselling that is, there should be a balance between the cross-selling and the upselling. That is, the one has to sell the goods to the buyer, to the seller, and the seller has to maintain or give the payment to the buyer. Then field service management. That is, field service means, uh, uh, that is, uh, provide the various additional services like allocation, dispatch, managing the people. That is, a field service. That is, the additional uh, services that is available. So, there should be a proper management among the field service also. Uh, next is help desk management. So there must be a help desk management uh, whenever anything is doing online. That is a help desk management means uh, the customer service support is providing online. That is a help desk management. That is all time availability is available or all time accessibility is available. That is a help desk. That is 24 by 7 in a 365 days in a year. So that is a help desk management. So in this uh, fast uh, changing technology environment, internal users in the organization also requires attention so as to provide effective customer service. So to provide the effective customer service, there is a help desk management that is available 24 hours a day, 7 days in a week and 365 days in a year. And there are so many facility or there are so many features that is must be provided by the help desk management. First is easy access to customer data, supports knowledge base, reporting capability. That the no, uh, information that is provided that must be a knowledge based and easy access to the customer data.
then next is enabling internet technology that is how to use or uh, problems can be resolved by enabling the internet services by enabling the internet facilities now informational needs for effective service that is what are the information need for the effective service then accessing service information that is how to access the service information like installation history warranty term so that all information is provided to the customer so that the customer will be satisfied by the or from the business then record the customer feedback so if any customer is giving the feedback record them for the future preference so that in future if there is any same uh, feedback comes so what is the main response what is the customer feedback in different scenarios that is recording the customer feedback then technology and marketing strategy that is how technology and marketing strategies are combined with each other So this is how techniques, uh, how different IT technology, that is the uh, IT, that is the uh, information technology and marketing strategies are related with each other. That is how marketing is done using various technologies so that marketing is fulfilled and the customer is satisfied with the marketing strategy. So this says in today's scenario, in today's information intensive environment where complex marketing processes are generating new distribution and communication channels, uh, multiple pricing options, and customized product and services the traditional marketing mix strategies using product price place and promotions are not sufficient so this is in today's information intensive environment that is in the today's scenario uh, uh, in today's environment where complex marketing processes are generating new distribution a communication channels multiple pricing options and customized product and services and the traditional marketing mix uses the product price place promotions are not sufficient that is these four P's are not sufficient to satisfy the customer that is product price place promotion but we have to be updated with the new technology with the new technique that is uh, used for as a tool for the better marketing so organizations have to use the technology to be enabled to dynamically allocate marketing resources to those people that generate the best return and have to consider the following issues. What are the various issues that must be taken care of using the technology? How marketing challenges such as global competition can be faced through technology? That is, what are the various challenges that is faced with the IT that can be resolved with the IT? Then what should be the technology infrastructure and technology applications for marketing management? So what is the uh, main uh, role that technology provides or what should be the technology infrastructure and technology applications that is provided for the marketing management? How information can affect the decision making? So if there is an information that is provided by the IT, so that how can affect the marketing strategy, how it can affect the marketing information? and how technology can reduce the complexity. So if there is any complexity in the marketing, so how IT will resolve this complexity and how to lower the cost so that the customer will satisfy and customer uh, need can be satisfied with these technologies. Then what cost effective strategies can be used to market and advertise effectively? So for developing the marketing strategy in the mentioned issues with the use of technology, organization can look the following. That is, uh, using the technology, uh, this marketing strategy will be used. First is marketing decision support system. That is a marketing decision support system means there is a DSS that is a decision support system that is used in the marketing for uh, maintaining or for uh, taking care of the customer's relationship, customer needs, customer behavior. For this, the detailed, accurate, and timely information is relevant to the product is needed. That is, timely information is needed by the businesses. First is data mining and decision support. That is the data mining information and the decision 
support system then marketing decision support application that there is a uh, support or there must be a marketing decision support application that must be taken care of that must be included in the case of marketing strategies that is a marketing decision support application then um, uh, what, what are the application that can be classified that is the customer order first of all plan forecast and fulfill first of all plan out what is the customer order or how the customer order will satisfy or how the customer is satisfied or how the customer order will be fulfilled that is planning forecasting and fulfillment then crm that is customer relationship management so that the management or the managing the relationship with the customer that is done by the crm that is a marketing function as a and it has a great impact on the marketing strategies to know the wants and preferences of customer in a well defined manner and the level of reliability of information management can use the technology so to maintain the relationship with the customer the customer uh, with the customer the marketing strategy or to make the marketing strategy strategy uh, so use the it use the different technologies to make the crm to make the or to maintain the relationship with the customer So business some also use the technology to analyze the global trends and for understanding why breaking down of sales cycle has happened now next is uh, trend analysis that is a uh, using that or following that trend or analyzing that trend is also useful while making the sales profit while making the customer satisfaction and that analysis can also be done by enhancing the or by using the various technology support for example uh, one company may use the tables graphs for their uh, for showing the trends that table graphs can be used by various applications like excel that can be fulfilled with the use of technology in the marketing then channel management that is how to manage the channel that is also the next that is technology also allows the business organization to in interact directly with the customer and react to change in demand that is there is a direct communication among the customer and the uh, Uh, among the customer and the manufacturer so there is a direct marketing that is also provided by the technology support various technology that is the it in the marketing that is a channel management next is summary that is a summary of the chapter that is the crux of the chapter this says customer asset management is the integration of frontline activities in a supply chain named sales marketing intelligence gathering and customer service to act in a coordinated manner rather than pulling in different direction so customer asset, asset management means a management or to manage the asset that is a customer in an efficient manner so that the customer will satisfied and the profit will be gained from the customers this highlights the importance of customers and define them as the valuable asset of any business so customer asset management highlights the customer as one of the big entity major entity and also defines the customer as in customer satisfaction collecting information that is relevant to the customer for making the customer asset management as an asset base may be difficult and costly customer satisfaction or interaction may be proved where the computerization of marketing and sales function in organization has not received so much attention by supporting the sales person in the field through automation means using a computer based application for collecting the data on the consumers so uh, one is online support that we have study then internet based sales promotion or automation system is that that exists within an organization and provides a single access that is a internet base that is within the organization <sighs> then marketing people ac accused term uh, with these systems are able to analyze the customer behavior then business organization have their website this is what we have studied and to solve the problem there is a need for the demand that is the technology now keywords first of all attrition that is customer may be dissatisfied with the service that is the limitation 
find a better price somewhere or elsewhere in the market that is known as attrition cross selling means in which the sale representative attempt to sell the other products also from the company's product line that is a cross selling data mining means technique of extracting the data from the warehouse crm customer relationship management these are the various questions that is based on this chapter like what is cam with major challenges what is online sales that is a sales for automation and these are the various books that is uh, for this chapter so that's all for chapter number 11 we have finished with chapter number 11 that is internet and customer asset management now next is chapter number 12 that is internet and manufacturing that i'm not going to start right now but uh, i'm want to finish this uh, over here only in the tomorrow's class that is in the friday's class tomorrow's class i will be taking the next chapter that is chapter number 12 that is internet and manufacturing so we have studied till now internet and the supply chain management then internet and the customer asset management now internet and the manufacturing that is how uh, internet is used with the uh, manufacturing that is how manufacturing is done within the organization that is internet and manufacturing so that's all for today's session. Thank you so much everyone for listening to me. If there is any doubts, if there is suggestions, any queries, you can uh, clear from me at any time. No issues. So thanks a lot everyone. Bye-bye.